everyone, this is Devanshi Jaswal and you are watching Address of Choice channel. We are back again with another exciting project and this time we are covering Canvas and Co by Assets. The project is strategically located to be close to, well, everything. The project is just 2.5 kilometers from Hausu Road near to all the best IT parks, eateries, hospitals of the city. We have hospitals such as Jayashree Malji Speciality Hospital, Apollo Hospital and Columbia Asia Hospital in the proximity. We have Total Mall, Vega City Mall, Central Mall and Decathlon and many educational institutes such as Oxford College, Vibgyor High School, Hero Kids Preschool, Kidzi Preschool are in the proximity as well as IT parks such as Vipro, RG Tech Park, Infosys, etc. Well, here is the miniature of our project. The total land parcel of our project is 17 acres and the project is divided into two parts. This is the phase one and this is phase two. Right now, we will not uh, talk more about phase two because it's still in its pre-booking uh, phase and we'll focus on phase one more. Well, both the projects have separate entry and exit over here. And even uh, phase two will have its own clubhouse and swimming pool. Both of the projects just share one similarity, one common thing that is the open area amenities that will be on the back side of the project. Let's have a look at that. So basically, out of our 17 acres of land parcel, 85% area is open area and that is the reason why it is called Canvas and Co. Because right after the project, we get Vigor Lake uh, that is spread across 137 acres of land and the project even has 5 acres of a beautiful uh, forest. So that is the reason why when you will see like you will, you will have a look outside uh, your window or your balcony from the flat you will get a beautiful canvas. Now talking about the amenities, over here is the trail of amenities that both of the phases will share. The open area uh, amenities include tennis court, basketball court, beach front volleyball, children's play area, skating ring, amphitheater and much more. Now let's talk about the specifications of phase one. So we can see over here that we have four blocks that is A, B, C and D. I like to mention that C and D are already sold out in this project and we have only inventories in A and B. The sizes of apartment over here are quite smaller than what we are going to have in phase 2 and if I talk about the configurations that we are going to have 2 BHKs and 3 BHKs. Now let's talk about the elevation. So we basically get basement parking, still parking and visitors parking over here. Along with that, uh, if I talk about the elevation, we have 15 floors in A and B towers and there are a total number of 9 units on each floor and 3 units in the tower. And here is the clubhouse of phase 1 that is built in over 18,500 square feet. You are going to have all the indoor games and world class amenities over here. As well as if I talk about possession day, that will be somewhere around uh, towards the end of 2027. Now talking about our phase 2. Uh, so basically there will be 3 towers over here, A, B and C. Right now, we have pre-booking started for the C tower and if I talk about the configurations over here, we will have 3 BHKs and 4 BHKs. I am going to show you the sample apartment of this phase as well. So let's move it forward. We will have a look at both the sample apartments of phase 1 as well as phase 2. Well, first of all, I will show you the sample apartment of phase 1 that is a 3 BHK plus 2 toilets and is built in over 1165 square feet. Moving forward, this is how your living and dining space looks like. The size of this living space is 10 by 12 and over here we have a huge French window on this side of the living space. And moving ahead, here we have our dining area. The size of our dining area is 10 by 10 and right after that we have our balcony. Here's how it looks like and you will get beautiful views of the forest as well as the lake from here. After the dining space, here's our kitchen. The size of this kitchen is 6 by 13. We have defined space for fridge. And then moving ahead, here's how it looks like. 
we have working eyeliner on both the sides and after that we have a huge window again uh, that is of 8 feet height now let's have a look at our bedrooms here's our first bedroom the size of this room is 10 by 10 i really like the color combination they have used in this room and uh, here we have another french window right in front of the room we have our common washroom the size of our common washroom is 4 by 7 this is the second bedroom and they have converted it into kids room the size of this room is 10 by 12 they have added a huge wardrobe on that side of the space and here we have a 6 by 6 bed a beautiful uh, study table on that end and again a huge huge french window and finally let's have a look at the master bedroom so basically this is connected to your living and dining space and is right opposite to the rest of the two rooms so this has more privacy well moving forward this is how your master bedroom is gonna look like the size of this room is 10 by 12 we have huge window over here and when you will get up in the morning you will get a beautiful view from here and on that side we have our attached washroom the sizes of two BHKs in phase one varies from 933 square feet to 983 square feet and the price for that will be 82 lakhs and we have three BHKs the sizes varies from 1165 to 1374 and the price for that is 1.2 crores we are here to have a look at the sample apartment of phase two three BHK apartment is there so let's move in forward and have a look well, this is your forest space and here's how it is managed. I love that they have added kind of a sitting space over here. So maybe you can wear your shoes while you are on the go. Now let's move in forward and have a look at the living and dining space. Here's your living area. This is how they have managed it. They have added this wooden work over here and with this side you can add your TV. You can also add a few more lights and lamps on this part of the living space. Well. On this side, we have the dining area and it's very, very well managed. I really like the color combination as well as how minimalistic they have kept everything else. So over here, we have a few decorative items. In the center, we have the dining space and at that part as well, they have added a few plants. Moving ahead, this is the balcony, which is very huge and uh, they have added a sitting space over here. Well, after our dining space, let's have a look at the kitchen, shall we? Here's how the kitchen looks. We have working island on both the sides. So basically, you have enough space to work around. Also, there's an 8 feet height of a French window inside the kitchen. So you can imagine the natural light that will come your way. I would like to mention one thing about this project. So basically, they have a like plan out the layout according to sun path analysis which will make sure that all the units will have natural lighting as well as they have made sure to add french windows of eight feet height to make it look more luxurious as well as to make more uh, space for natural lighting and ventilation well on this side we have the utility space and this is also very well managed well, here's the first room of this apartment that is the master bedrooms and the rest of the two rooms are on that side of this apartment. I would also like to mention that all the LED lights in the common area of this apartment are automated so that you can control energy users. Now, moving forward, let's have a look at the master bedroom, shall we? Well, here's how it looks. It's very, very huge and very well managed. I like the color combination over here. They have added some art pieces on this side, as well as the beds in the center and two side tables. On this side, you can add a working area or maybe your TV cabinet. And on here, if we talk about the balcony, I love that it's very huge and you can do so many things in the balcony. You can uh, play around with the space. You can add some plants, a sitting chair, a rocking chair, maybe a swing. Anything will look good if you have serene views of the locality. Moving ahead, here's how the walk-in closet of your master bedroom looks like. And right after it, we have the attached washroom. Now let's have a look at the rest of the two rooms. Come on. First of all, over here, we have the common washroom. And on this side, we have the second bedroom that you can convert into kids' room. 
here's how they have managed this area they have added a study table over there and few uh, beautiful art pieces they have managed this room you can take some tips from here or maybe you can add more colors to the room to make it playful for the kids well on this side you can manage the wardrobe and over here we have a huge window again and here's your third room come on inside here's how it looks uh, this is how they have managed the whole space so basically they have added a wooden study table or walking space over there you can add your dressing table on this side as well as this room also has a huge window to maintain natural lighting and maybe you can add a sitting uh, chair a good rocking chair over here to do read a good rocking chair over here to read your book or maybe enjoy your alone time now moving forward let's have a look at the walk-in closet well here's how the walk-in closet looks and on this side we have the attached brush well, this was our PBHK apartment that will be in phase two. If I talk about the options that we are gonna have over here, so as I've mentioned, we are gonna have three BHKs and four BHK. The sizes varies in three BHK from fifteen hundred square feet to eighteen hundred square feet, and the size for four BHK will be somewhere around two thousand two hundred square feet. If I talk about the starting price for phase two, then that will be one point four crores. And with that, I have mentioned all the details regarding the project. I hope it was helpful for you guys. And if it was, then please hit the like button. Also, subscribe to our channel because we are working very hard, and it will be uh, very good for us if you appreciate our work. Well, I'll see you next time. Until then, bye bye.